Hello everyone, B-Phone 4 and Son of Beast here, and this time, it's about to go down. We are now in the conference finals for the championship game in between the Eastern and Western Conference. Now, this is where it gets things interested. If you're ready, it's that time, folks. One of the teams will be heading into the finals and win the whole thing. One team for Western Conference and one team for the Eastern Conference. It's coming up next, after this. Let's bring it on! Brown now, relatively late in the shot clock, spins, floats it up and floats it in. Boy, the Cavs bench is vehemently claiming that that was a walk. We've never seen them since playing back in 2018. Floor, and that's where they get so many threes. Oh, what a highlight! Man, give it up to Robert Williams. What a pass by Horford. He's breaking that down, looking at a fading shot clock. As Garland knocks in the three. Man, he's hot hands. Got a good set feet. Good shot. He'll zigzag his way halfway down the lane. His floater is true. Mitchell now has 34 and is back to a one-point game. Toward Brown, wheels his way down the lane, floats it up, and floats it in. DM, and the crowd goes wild. That's what they do. Donovan Mitchell, what a finish. With it, up ahead to Tatum, to the rim. Smart to see him make the steal. Back to Brown. Whoa, Jalen Brown, you can do that? Yes, he does. What a finish. Tatum, step back three. You bet. Jason Tatum, a superstar player. Crowd while favored for the Tatum and Horford, the better veteran teams. They all loved it and they enjoyed it. Lucky luck. Mitchell on the attack, soft tosses it in. If you've never seen this finish, well, that's the biggest part of a drive you ever see. Bring of the game in Boston five nights ago. Mitchell to the basket, draws a foul, puts it up and in, a circuit shot by Donovan Mitchell, and he has a chance for the three-point play. That's what they all do. Donovan Mitchell, a biggest drive effort. Yeah, I've got good eyes on him. They always say, count it and one. That's for him. Cavs, Celtics, next on 2K Sports. Hello everyone, and we're about to get started here for the Eastern Conference Finals. Me Phone 4 here, as right now Son of Beast is at the game here at TD Garden Arena to face against the Celtics and the Cavaliers. The first of this kind since 2018 was the last part of a game that did happen before in Game 7. The greatest player for LeBron James, but now has been traded to the other team. You'll see him on Saturday's primetime night here at Mile High. That will be on the other side of it on the court. Just two days, but uh, you never know what's going to be coming up here. But that will be on Friday, so keep your eyes tuned for that one here on the other side. That will be tomorrow night's game. As right now, it has already been swapped. We'll see how this one turned out, one by one. And on the other hand, we've got the good matchups to find out who will take the win. We have the starting lineups. Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, Isaac Okoro, Evan Mobley, and Jared Allen. For Boston Celtics, we have as Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Al Horford, and Robert Williams. That is it for your starting lives, and now let's get into the game. Son of Beast, along with Clover and OJ. As we about to get this thing started here at TD Garden for the first game of the night. It's time, Eastern Conference, here we go. Enjoy your first game of the Eastern Conference Finals. 2K Sports, welcome to the following presentation of the NBA Conference Finals. I 
It is about that time for the start of the first game as we step into the locker room as they are ready to get this thing prepped up and warmed up. Well, hello everyone, Son of Beast here, and thank you for joining us here for the first of a kind of a game as the Cavaliers and Boston Celtics at TD Garden Arena. Along with me, Culver, and OJ, standing by we have is David Aldrich on the sideline. Hey David. Thanks very much guys. Well, the Celtics are developing chemistry. Robert Williams says our older guys are keeping a great energy, preparing us before we even get on the court. When you've got your main players fired up and you're talking in your ear, you've got to follow their lead. Well, we're on this game. Live chemistry can always get the right. Thank you, David. Well, this is going to be a fantastic one. And you know, this game never really does stand out well because we never seen it when they were playing like that. In Game 7, this was a very that tough one. The matchups are very that tough. In between LeBron James and the Cavaliers and Jason Tatum on the other side of it, too. I mean, Al Horford was the greatest player. You gotta give credit to that one because if, if everybody does that the same, you're gonna get that one a hard time. You ain't never gonna know how to find that one out. Yeah, I, I guess that it was gonna be a lot tough and challenging. But this offense may not be a tough way to make that one actually playable because they're really not over it. If they do, well, there may not be anybody to get right through it because they're just gonna need to try to keep it going. Right now, here's your courtesy start up. Starting lineups for fueled up by Gatorade, all filled up, and we're ready to go. Marcus Smart has been covered up here on Darius Garland. And it's Corford on Mobley. Jason Tatum on Isaac Okora. Bennett's down the other side. We have, we have is Jalen Brown on Donovan Mitchell. And finally, Robert Williams on Jared Allen. That two pointer starts here for Jalen Brown with a first bucket. That first kind of a bucket, that was a lot of good footstep. Before the shot clock went violating on over the expired time. And that's what everyone was thinking. They really are trying to get that one over and under again. Trying to operate. Besides the core and Mitchell for three. Three pointer can't hit the mark. Al Horford will get his first first free first rebound of the game. Brown passes to Harper. Now back again to Smart. Smart trying to look over with the offensive side. Now gives it off to Jalen Brown. With a scoop in. Stop there with a bounding as right now back to Tatum. Tatum back again to Smart. Down to five on the shot clock. Fades a shot. Free for Tatum. Deep free misses it. Here's Mitchell. He will take it over from the offense side. Try to look it over. Mitchell, dish off to Mobley. Free for Okoro. Free went off the mark and it went quickly right behind. Well, everybody knows that because Jalen Brown saw that Jason Tatum was going to make that rejection to try to block that. They were, it didn't really was going to like appear in this one because they're not really like going over it. Robert Williams, layup, drive, and reverse is no good. Cleveland Cavaliers hasn't scored anything with the last last two ten per minutes of this game. Now Mitchell on Brown, Okoro on Smart. 3:45 to go in the first period as they're trying to make an answer. Screen on Mobley and an offensive foul is picked up. That will be his first foul, and I know a turnover to Boston Ball. And Cleveland Cavaliers have their first turnover for the start of a conference game. Yeah, easy call. That's what everyone was thinking about. You know, this wasn't the only way that was going to ever happen. Because if it do, then you're going to get trying to get a little bit beaten up in between. We don't want that one to get overcomplicated. Yeah, I got to agree with that one. They were really that tough. You got a smart one and you can. Tina, the layup no good. Robert Williams dish it back. The two pointer puts it up and he has his first bucket. Two rebounds and the first bucket in. Here's Garland, he will take it over and the first timeout will be called with 3.12 to go. They have four point, four point lead for Boston. Give it up with a good start out there, you can give that one a call. They're really off to a panic run. And let's talk about this one here, because this one for the draft lottery, the San Antonio Spurs are going to pick up with the first pick of the 2023 NBA Draft, as you'll keep your eyes tuned here on September of the year. 
because they really are trying to make up an offense to build it on because of the next one, they're in the dreams. They try to pick up their run of it on a shifting moment. Yeah, they're really that well. And you can definitely can't go wrong with those two. They really are starting to make that one a great comeback switch and enjoy it the moment. But light time is right near us, but you can always can't remember it. I'll do really that good. And this offensive this one is playing up a lot that steep, but they're not really like trying to put it together, but they don't want to like do this. Just keep on going. The flow is just definitely very well. More on the top of range, you're just keeping it going a lot. Yeah, they're actually know that way. This offense is putting up a lot of that pressure. Try to keep them in a good motion out there. They will. New substitution coming in for the for the offense run. For the for the Cavaliers and defense will step up here for the Boston Celtics. Allen passes to Okoro and now inside is Okoro. Pass to Mobley on the outside with only three minutes remaining. Evan Mobley on Horford. With a two over the range, and it goes with an in and out shot. Jason Tatum has his first first rebound of the game, and now will dig carry it over on the other side. Tatum trying to give it off the screen to Robert Williams. Give it a pass. It's blocked by Mobley. Well, I think he was going to give that one a pass, but it didn't seem to be work really well. Got to make that one a quick. And a foul will be called on Jalen Brown, his first personal. And the first team fouls on Boston. Donovan Mitchell at the free throw line shooting two. And he's gonna make that one a tough one to try to keep it in. You never see what Donovan Mitchell does, but that's a big move. That's what nobody was really seeing. And they were really off to the end of the book. They're trying to get it out of here, but they're not showing it what they're gonna do. Now the first free throw is coming in for the Cleveland Cavaliers, so it will only 245 to go in the first period. Trying to put the answer with the, with the rim. First free throw set in for Donovan Mitchell. His better of his ultimate high school and a college career was proven out very not hard. But as you may have always noticed, how tough can he be? Well, it may not be the always that you can directly really imagine. Wade and Wade and Rubio along with Carol Silver are checked in. New players in the Celtics are also making new changes as they aren't quite McCollum Brogdon, Grant Williams, Sam Hauser, and finally and finally Michael Scott are checked in. All five players are checked in and out. Now here's Brogdon. He gives it over to Derek White. Made the shot and now back to Williams. Williams passes to Hauser. Hauser, trying to give a pass over to Mike Muscala. Around Jared Allen, and he's fouled. That's what his first foul put up for Jared Allen. That will be his first personal and the first team foul for Cleveland. Oh, that easy on that one. I can say, but it was Jared Allen that made that one block. He was trying to reject it, but all of a sudden now, he caught him. That is an easy call there, ref. Get it out of here! Mike Muscala at the free throw line, shooting two, trying to look at the run here. They're trying to make two free throws at the free throw line. He hasn't scored yet. He missed a couple of them the last game. Might look for another one. There's one. Mike Muscala been always excellent performance run. And now he might be just going for it again. Donovan Mitchell checked out as City Osmond checked in. And only one free throw will make it in. Here's LeVert with a spin move over Brockett. Rebound by Wade. Wade will try to deliver it with a layup in between. He has his first bucket. Well, that basket may not be reducible enough. The really are trying to get it over it, and they don't want to get over in the offense run. Here's Brockett back on the outside on Ricky Rubio passes to Hauser. Hauser trying to pull a pass back to Brogdon. Hauser and White for three. Carries a triple as his first three-pointer for White. 
that's his first bucket in game one. Now that's what we call it, the first offense man. He's just pulling up with a great look. That's it, he's ready. Osmond back to Hauser and a screen on Wade. Rejects it. Free for Wade. Try to go with a three, but it's not going to make it in. Just a minute and 15 to go, and Hauser will give it back. Now he will give it back to Williams. Try to make a new move. Now he goes over to Brogdon. Spade the shot around Allen. It's good. McCall Brogdon with his first bucket. And that will be a pass by Grant Williams. That pass turned out easy. <laughs> well played on this one. Osman on Hauser. Back to Rubio. Rubio again to LeVert. 10 seconds for the shot clock. And LeVert trying to make a step back over again to Merrick. And rebound by Allen. Now again, LeVert on the outside. Six to shoot. LeVert trying to make a handle it, but the reach and foul is called on Grant Williams. Stop the clock at 30.8 seconds, and now Green will check in for Jared Allen as Wade is in the center. Check out that mobile of the block by Evan Mobley. Oh, I just guess that was going to be a close call. The matchup may be not impossible to get there through because Evan Mobley, he was going to make that rejection. Well, it's, it's hard enough to say about that because you can't just really say, uh, I got it all in bounding. It really got tough, but the offense is like already been pulling it up right away. And Pritzker with the block! White passes over to Williams and at last touch calls for, for Carol Silver. Celtics will keep it in mounting. That's what nobody is seeing. Pritchard, do you realize that you can block that? White for three. Outside, the range and put it up extension for 13 and four. Derek White with a second three pointer of a night. He's all in mid hands. You may see. Derek White, you really are a star. Put your back again to Hauser. With the buzz beater. Oh, made that one a good try with the right hand. That's what you say. Finish it, and there you go. The first period's over. That comes to an end for the first period. A great start for the Boston Celtics. As right now, it is a 15-4. We'll be right back with the second quarter after this. At this moment, right at this moment, we are about to start the second period. Welcome back to TD Garden Arena. With the start of this one here, let's have your thoughts for the Celtics and the, and the Cavs. Well, we see them now. They really are starting to pick up a great twins for the start for the first and second for the playoffs for the part of the Celtics. But then, game three and four turned out to be very that type of like very that tough. They're very obsolete. They're not really seeing that what was happening because three and four, the Cavaliers are already coming back to tie this game up. They're really starting to go over it, but this offense played up a lot of struggle to get over this offender to get away with it. Yeah, I got an agreement because they really are starting to go off strong. Game five, it was a win for the Celtics, and then game six, it was that. They tied it. And then Game 7, it was it. Cavaliers moved on to the finals to beat against the Eastern Conference team. I know that was going to happen, but no offense on that. They're really tough to be a mountain. The first free throw sent in for Jason Tatum. Now the new substitution will carry in for Marcus Smart, checking in for Pritchard. 5.48 to go. The University of Duke for Jason Tatum pulled up a deliberation. He's all in this good strategy to make that run. He has all eyes on his head coach from Duke. They are really are saying, this is my head coach, and I really want to train for him for good. Yo, know, he's very not well. Actually, wanted to be on the attacker, but you can't just say that. You really wanted to go with the Duke, Duke coach, Duke head coach of the game, since the last one turned to be very uh, up, absolutely devastation. And the last touch calls out for Jason Tatum. Got a good block out of it to try to keep it out. But right now, 
Draymond, Draymond Green is checked out and Isaac Okoro is checked in with 5.30 left. That play didn't that defense could have a great run to make a stop. Well done. Isaac Okoro finds Garland. Five seconds to shoot. Try to put up a move. Over on And a stop being the rebound by Williams and a miss by Cleveland Cavs. He's smart. Right towards the wing. Back again to Tatum. Now he misses over to Horford. With the finish drive, and a scoop and drive is good for Horford. He has his first bucket. They're really are showing out Horford and really got that on the point. And now we should move one drive for Al Horford. Here's a pass to Arnson McCoy back again to Garland. Smart watching on him. Mitchell over with Brown, and that will put it up a scoop and in for Donovan Mitchell. He has that first bucket and now the second bucket in. Here's Spark. Passes to Williams. Made the shot. And can get it to score. Smart gets it over to Tatum. Tatum again to Smart. Down the six on the shot clock. Overhead pass. Almost lost it. And a good stop made by Evan Mobley. He's keeping it on out when he almost started to fuck it right away. But uh, if he was doing it once more, he would have had that one a, a tougher one to be out. We have a reporter from David Aldridge, as right now he did give us a good stop about from in between the Boston Celtics and the Cavaliers. They're very on a tough break. But this offensive inbounding was nowhere to be stopping inbounding. They really keep on saying, we have our team. We needed to make that one a tough one to try to show them off. This is what we do. We gotta play hard and we gotta go for the for the knockout to make that one clear. We got it guys. Jalen Brown finishes with a drive and Brown receives his second bucket of the night. Jalen Brown. I never noticed that you could definitely do that. This is really tough and no one has ever seen it like that. Okoro on Tata. Passes to Garland with a shot. Stop the inbounding and now over again. Garland takes it over and makes another bucket. Here's Tata with 3.35 left to remain. Smart on the outside. Carries over to Brown. Brown passes the spot. Fade the shot. Now again to Brown. Down to seven on the shot clock. Passes to Tata. With the finish. And it went off the target off and ripped in and out. That was very close, man. I never see what was going on with like that. Yeah, that was very damn close. McCoy about to take up. 3 or 5 remaining. With a shot. Fast. Rolling shot. Good D by Robert Williams, and he's five. Robert Williams has received his first personal and a second team foul puts up on Boston. Under three minutes to go in the in the second period, Mobley is at the free throw line shooting two. You're trying to get it over this one. This offense is not picking up the right way that they want. First free throw that went off the mark. Now the new changeup. As right now, the Brockens checked in for Robert Williams. Al Lofer moves over to shooting the point forward to center. Now with one shot, Mobley needs to get away to get the win, to get the bucket in. And he missed the second free throw. Oh, he's that uncomfortable out there. He's saying that, no, I'm very nervous. But don't be afraid if you're going to try to like, take a time to do it. Over. Pass again to Brown. Brown trying to make that shot. Five on the shot clock. Brogdon over Mitchell. Nice see by Mitchell and an miss by, by Boston Celtics. 2.30 to go and now Okoro back to Brown. Okoro trying to look over again to Garland. The screen is made. Pass to Allen and oh! Allen had a one hand dunk down, and it's Marlon with the assist. That was very quick. But most of it inbounding was not seen that quite often. That is a tough one. 
We come down to two minutes to go in the first half of the period. It's a 21 to 10 game. Barkley back to Smart. Around Garland and a drive. Put it in. What a nice one to put up a run for Marcus Smart. And the timeout's been called by Cleveland Cavaliers. Just a minute and 51 to go. They're trying to make that one clear. They're up there. Boston Celtics were coming in. You can make us go proud. That's what everyone does. We're saying that they've got it all through. They're really a tough fight to hang up. But if that one comes in for the first part of it, we'll catch you over on the other side of it. Once the, once we have a little bit of intermission before we get back in to finish the first half of the period. Right now, as we're back here on the court, all four players for the Cavaliers are checked out. Four players checked in. Green, Wade, LeVert, and Rubio. Now, here's Rubio on white. Block the pass. Rubio still has it up. Wade, pass to Green. And outside is Rubio. With a two. In a marking. No good. He's missing the too many of it. With the shots of it inbounding, it's, it's very not typical. You may not be finding anybody else, but you're going to try to like keep it open with the man. This offense is way out of risky. Brogdon back to Hauser, just down to six in the shot clock. Pass to Buscala over Jared Allen. Fade away shot, no good. And good deep, good pressure for Brent Williams as he's put his bucket back in. He has his first bucket and now one minute to go. Alley oop! Good stop by Mike Buscala as Rubio will have to make a different change on. And this will close with the offensive foul on Draymond Green as they will change it over to the Celtics ball. Danny Green, as you met. Here's White. Passes over to Hauser. White for the number three. Three-pointer carries out. And now Green will hand it over with the ball after a rebound cover. Green on White. Green try to survey the floor. Around and pass. Third three. Three-pointer is no good. And Mike Muscala will try to give it over to Derek White. They really well. This offense is like you can never feel if you're on a lucky moment. I just say it's really that good. Keep it going. Five seconds left to remain, and that will end the first half of the period. And it's Sam Oser. Oh my! He did two times in a row. Every quarter of the period. Yeah, I know. He's <laughs> And Silva ends up with a 27 10 lead. The extension is putting up a big and wild. We'll take a quick break and we'll get back after this. See you all later for the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everyone, welcome back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. For the first part of the Eastern Conference of Game 1, Celtics in the Cavs. Celtics already been starting up strong here in the first quarter. Already got fished out with a 15 to 4, and now in the second half, they received a 27 to 10 lead. Let's start over here with the Celtics. I guess they really have been enjoying it a lot of moment at the top, and that there are some reasons. They're hoping to get another one to try to like smack it out and put it back in a resistance. They're gonna see what they can do if they can try to make that one go away. And for Cleveland Cavaliers, they might be just struggling it again. But they might hopefully get another one to go right forward towards the line, and they might find out what will it be determined to get right into it. All right, I guess that will do for the halftime show. Time to get back going to the court at TD Garden Arena. Guys, all yours. See you later for the post game. And welcome back to TD Garden Arena. As we're about to start the third quarter, it's a 27 to 7 10 lead. We all noticed that Derek White was definitely a, one of the biggest players after a trade from San Antonio Spurs. But this time often, he remembers the truth. He knows his quote, I've always done best. It's a stronger team than you've ever been playing in this offense, no matter how, how much quit you mean. But it's not how much you do, it's how much you want to become 
and be, be part of it of the master on the basketball skills. Challenging is simply a lot of them that we always count for. Yep, we definitely do that. That's what everybody does. And you mastered it. The numbers never really caught on. Here to start in groups for the, for the second half, all filled up and ready to go. Robert Williams is on Jarrett Allen. August Smart is on Darius Garland. And Mitchell on Jalen Brown. Al Horford comes in for, for Mobley, and finally for the small forward, Jason Tatum, Tatum on Isaiah Coro. The first foul has been called on Jarrett Allen. That will be his second personal foul, and now Robert Williams at the free throw line shooting two. One thing that I have to do I have to keep an eye on that one here, it's, a, it's the foul he would put putting. He knocked him over. The defender really should not be doing it like he did. You'd set an attention to the attackers, you're not going to try to like keep it going. They've got to get through it. He first missed the fir first free throw. He missed the second free throw. He really didn't have enough time because he was making it too quick because I know that it wasn't that very tough. Oh, Donovan Mitchell slammed that down. Oh, man, Donovan Mitchell just trying to slam around Jalen Brown. That was cool. No, oh, I know what you're thinking. If Donovan Mitchell was able to slam over like it's a whack-a-mole game, you would know that. That would have been a clear one to take. And that was your move, and that was your replay of your slam dunk presented by AT&T, the 5G Slam Cam. That was terrific for Donovan Mitchell. I know. Talk about that one. That's what they were doing before. Take number for three. Rolls in and out. Now they will try to fight it over again to Jason Tatum. Tatum watching the screen. For Al Horford in the middle. And Tatum uses the right hand to make the layup. Now that's a great finish. I know that it was tough. Not for the three, but the two. And that was your number one drive for Jason Tatum. Garland on a Coro, finding on Tatum. Mitchell finds Garland. Watching it from the in-between from the back. Here's Mitchell for three. It went over the backboard and it's out of bounds. It now changes Celtics ball. Now on that play, we got a good cover for the block of Pritcher. Oh man, Pritcher was definitely doing it just like he did. He never get around that far because he really did that one already. Was second defender of the block. The night, it's already been over. Pritcher is ready for you. Smart, back on Horford. And now he passes over to Smart. Smart swings it over to Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum rolling it over to Smart. Good ball movement for the Celtics. Goes over Mobley, and that shot gets defended out of here. Here's Mitchell. He takes a three, fires it down. He moves it right toward the other way, leading it down with 29 to 15 run. Well, he's starting to come back right now. They're just trying to figure it out. And the offensive foul has been called. Now they're changing it over to Cleveland Ball. Oh, this offensive coach is not just turning out very right. You know what they were doing? Because they were just pulling up a big and blocking. They did not want that one to get over and caught right away. They're just trying to get rid of it. And a foul has been called on Al Warford. That's his first personal foul, and their fourth team foul has been carried for Boston. Evan Mobley at the free throw line, shooting two. Well, well, that pass from coming in for Jared Allen was really like putting it for the, in the marking. But, but you can't just like let him get it go over it or under it because they're not going to like try to take him over from any of that else's player. They should not be attempting to do this. They are really trying to keep it going, it, and they got to find out some help. First free throw, hit off the rim. Evan Mobley was already been doing it on his own. The career, it's been put up in just like in the in the good set, set of a state. But he now knows that whenever his team puts him in, Texas is just definitely my only place that I play for here for the college basketball. Well, it didn't really uh, catch on because now it was it was Auburn 
That did happen. And he makes a second free throw. Boston trailing by 13. Jason Tatum finds Brown. Brown back to Tatum over to Al Horford. Give a ball movement to Robert Williams. Trying to need to get out of the paint. Outside is Tatum. Trying to give a good screen. Jason Tatum inside. He makes another layup drive. And that's the spurred bucket of the night. Jason Tatum. How well does he do? Because he really does that. Because after putting up a screen, he knows it. That's what everyone does. That's what they're just going to need to keep on doing. Mitchell for three. Hit off the rim. That goes right back to Smart. Down to three minutes to go in the third quarter. He passes to Al Horford. Horford gives a swing off and bad pass. That goes to Darius Garland with a steal. Garland looking it over, finding Mitchell outside. Moving in for the, in the baseline for a shot, and he's out of bounds. Last touch on Jalen Brown, and it's Cavaliers ball. We'll still have their possession. Now with a new substitution change, as Terrence LeBerg comes in for Donovan Mitchell. Danny Green also checked in for Isaac Okoro, and Ricky Rubio comes in for Garland. Boston Celtics are making new changes as right now Jason Tatum is in the point forward position. Brown still in it. Smart on the shooting guard and Pritchard on the point guard. Tatum, what a great rebound. That's his second in a row. Here's Pritchard, he will pass it over to Brown. Moves it back to Tatum. Tatum needs to find somebody else to cover it. In the middle, and bad pass stolen here. Here's Green, on the attack, and Tatum takes it over. Here comes Brown, and puts it in the game. That's Jalen Brown with the finish. That's what you're always going to carry for him. What a great slam that's for him. Well, he's already been doing it that much. Oh, man, you better be believing on him. Mobley makes that one hand dunk down after assisted by by Looney. Either by Danny Green, I meant. And now Smart passes back to Brown. Rolls over to Tata. Trying to give it off to Al Horford. Moving in, and Mobley rechecks the shot. That's two in a row for the blocks and putting up another turnover. They're just getting away with that one because Evan Mobley really got a good block out of him. They're trying to give up on the attacker. They're not really showing it off like he did. Three for Green and missed it again. Al Horford will take his fifth rebound of the night and now bring it back to Pritchard. Jason Tatum outside for the mark. Three pointer, no given here. Mobley putting another rebound and Osman back to Green. Rubio on Pritchard, trying to shoot over Horford. That tip-off shot off the range. Mobley takes it with the layup. Mobley put up another bucket after a rebound and only 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. They're trying to make that one quick. We don't want that. Al Horford, good stop by Evan Mobley. Well, that's because of Evan Mobley. He was really picking it up. I don't even know what to say about this, but they were really off to a down. And Mobley does it again. They're down by 10. Oh boy, they're trying to get over this? I don't know. They might be showing it off like he can. Jason Tatum back on the outside. Moves over to get into Pritchard. Marcus Smart on the outside. Trying to move around. Karis LeBurk. Bad pass. And Rubio coming in. Osmond trying to look for the buzz beater. Green for three. Misses again. For the deep range, Tatum will close the third quarter. It's a 33-22 run for the Celtics, and they're trying to make an answer back in game one. We'll take a quick break, and we'll get back into the fourth quarter after this. This has to be a lucky look day. They're showing up, but they ain't never done it.
And we have a few moments to find, figure out your State Farm Assist of the Game. Now, I know what they're saying. Because you, you cannot even tell what was going on in this play, he gave a good pass to Hauser, and that's from Pritchard. That's when he does that one here again. With the finish of this one, and the buzz meter did turn out right. Now what does happen now, it's always to keep the eyes on the target. This is where we come down to the fourth quarter in the first game of the Eastern Conference. Hope you're enjoying with us, and let's get into this. Here are the starting groups for the Cleveland Cavs. Allen is covered by Williams. Then it's Brogdon on Matt Donovan Mitchell. Then Jalen Brown. He's covered up here from the other side of Isaac Agora. Then Derek White is on is on Darius Garland. And finally, we have his we have his Nicole. Grant Williams on Evan Mobley. Here's Williams, he will start it off. Passes back to Brogdon. Over again to White. White, finishing the drive. Rebounded it back, and it's Mobley taking it away. He is putting up a huge rebound of, the, of this game. The better career, it's nothing, but they were always going to get. They got to get that one right through it, because there's nobody else in coming. Jared Allen. Trying to move it out. Darius Garland in the middle. A good pass by Jared Allen. He has his second assist here, and Darius Garland is second bucket of the night. He's never he's quite alone, but you know, you never say what he was gonna do, but they're really hard on the epic. White back again to Brogan. Brogan to White. Screen for Grant. Grant Williams! Lost the ball! But a good stop by Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley splitting it up again. He says defenders can't mess it up. And Brown takes a steal. Williams on the fast break. Pass to Robert. And two at a jam. Oh, man, you got to say that Robert Williams, that's a great stop. What a, what a huge turnover for Cleveland. And great steal by Jalen Brown. <laughs> I really like when he does that. He swats away. He definitely did out a lot of it. All the Here's Brogdon. He will take it over. Brogdon swing it back to White and Brown on the outside. Down the four minutes to the fourth quarter. Brogdon. Raised it around Mobley. Good stop by Evan by Evan Mobley. He is putting up a huge rebound. And the Williams successful. Donovan Mitchell showing it off to Jared Allen and says, that's for you. You can never just try to play a respect on him. Uh, always had a big disrespect, but it's not really turned out to be like that. Nicole Brogdon, he lost it, and it's now turned over by Darius Garland. Well, uh, they're just not giving up that point. It looks like the fourth quarter can be a hard one. Jalen Brown, Nicole Brogdon. Finds White for three! The three can't make it here. Oh, he just did it again! But he went over with the back court, and it now changes the Cavs' ball. You should have that quick timing out there. That turned over over to be that way. But hopefully on that, they'll try to fix it up. Wade is checked in for Evan Mobley. And for the Celtics, as two players are checked out, two players checked in. As we have Brogdon moving over to point guard. The foul's called on Grant Williams, second personal foul, and another team foul puts up for Boston. We are free to go in the fourth quarter, trying to look for a heavier run to make that one a stop. Well, there might not be anybody else to change it over. They're just going to try to, like, move it around a bit, because they can't just find anybody open with the offense. They've got to get into this. Jared Allen missed the first free throw. Now with the new changes, Horford and Tatum will check in for White. And Grant Williams will be moving it over and out. Brown is back in to the shooting guard for the starting lineup. And he makes the second free throw. They're down by four, and they're trying to look for an upset to make the run. Here comes Brogdon. Brogdon, pass to Tatum. With the finish! Oh, he made the one-hand dunk down! Are you kidding me? 
Jason Tatum already like a power slam through. The University of Duke really does turn out to be a veteran for sure. Well, I know he was there at that point. You can never call with him. Just get over right and do it again. Jalen Brown got a good defensive rebound, and now it's Tatum. Tatum trying to look it over again. Gives it off to Al Horford, and now about McCall Brogdon. Back to Horford for Tatum. On the outside run for Jalen Brown. Get it back, Al Horford, and it's fouled by Darren Wade. He receives his first personal, and another team foul goes on Cleveland. Al Horford is at the free throw line shooting two. There are a lot of heavy attackers. They're not really sure about what they're going to do. They had no choice because they really are trying to like keep the attackers going. They've got to find somebody else to try to make a move out of it. Al Horford makes the first free throw. And now the new changeup. For the Cavs, as Wade is checked out, Mobley's checked back in. Well, they're always going to need him because if he doesn't really get up to this point, then he's going to have a hard time to get over it. And right now, Marcus Smart is checked in from McCollum Brogdon. And that's good for two free throws for Al Horford. He has his second bucket, now with 2.15 to go. Here's Mitchell. Trying to put an attacker around Brown. And blocked by Williams. And that will be called for the loose ball on Evan Mobley as they will count the bucket in. He did not really get it over it, but it was not just enough to get right through it instead. Well, I may have to say, if he counts the bucket in, he may have to say that it would have been countable. But if they don't count the bucket in, they are still not going to get over this to make that success. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, as right now, Smart's back on the outside. Feeds it off to Tata. And Brown back on the outside. Smart for three! Good! That is the three canyon for the point guard, Marcus Smart. He's smart! Always count that with a three-pointer you never believe. Yeah, Marcus Smart, oh man. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by Adidas. Mountain Dew, do the do. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or get a free quote now at 1-800-STATE FARM. Here's the games coming up here for Saturday night's game. That's right, at this moment we have the Denver Nuggets and the Lakers here on Friday's game. That will be tomorrow, happening here on Son of Beast at 7 p.m. Then across from here, we have another one to take over from the other side of it on Saturday's game. The start of the Stanley Cup Conference Finals in between the Canes and the Bruins. And then on Sunday's game, we have another one to take you from here, from the downtown side. As right now, we have is the Kraken and Avalanche happening at Ball Arena for the first game tonight. Now it's time for your for your New Balance player of the game. For game one, it goes to Jalen Brown. When you know about Jalen Brown, you know the feeling. That's what he does. He gives it up to a great run. The opportunity string that is definitely a lucky make for Jalen Brown. I really like how he does that. A lot of transitions are going right through it. It turned out very good and playable to make. Here's Mitchell on Jalen Brown, watching him, going around him, and he gets it back, and it's stolen away! We have a report from David Aldrich, it's right now, where Joe Mazula, he never saw that Mark Jalen Brown does that one here for once more. He's growing up here. He says, it's my time. I have to do what I have to do more. Instead of that case for this run, they really got to step it up and make that one quick. They're easy to do this, but it's not that complicated to get over right from the players and its attention. 
they really need to find someone else to get over us. Yeah, they do. And for Jaron Brown, that's his mission. Six on the shot clock, free for Brown. He will get it back. Tatum makes that one a rebound and puts a 10 bucket score pound. When Tatum gets it to go, he really has to go. That's what he does. We're down to a minute to go in the fourth quarter for three for Burke and Donovan Mitchell. DM for short. Makes the three. 50 seconds to go, and now Horper over on the other side, back again to Tatum, over to Brown. And a reach foul is called on Donovan Mitchell for personal. That'll be their second team foul for Cleveland. 44.4 seconds. And they're gonna have to try to end it up fast. And he's fouled. Evan Mobley has already made that one a one foul to give. And now Robert Williams will have to do this one again for the second time. They're really not showing up because Robert Williams really had to stand alone. There's the first free throw for Robert Williams. Always got to make that one count and get that right in it. And he hits the second free throw. 45 and 39. 40.8 seconds to go as right now it is coming down to the end. And it's stolen. Good stop. Von Mobley will take the layup in. They're down by four. They have to do this now. Oh, he messed that one up. But no good for the two. And the foul puts up on Donovan Mitchell with 26 seconds. Raylan Brown at the free throw line doing another one again. They're really showing it off. Because you can't just really say that a lot of players are just doing it again. Nobody really has that of effortless to do this one again. And he missed the second free throw. Well, he's short. He's got to get that one arched up again. Pass. Ten. Blocked by Tatum. What a D. And he did it again. They're trying to fight for it. Now, El Coro to tie it. No good. Mitchell. El Coro for three. And he got it. And they're going to try to, like, end it up with the run and get it done. And that is it. Jason Taylor does it again! Oh man, the buzz beater for Jason Taylor delivers a win for game one. And that's what I call that one. The buzz beater lucky shot. That is what's for you. Wow. That is a fantastic one. I know, tell me. What are you ever going to tell you? You can never go wrong with that one. And now we'll end the game for the playoffs of the Game 1 the Conference Finals. Thank you for tuning with us in, and we'll see you all again next time. This is Son of Beast, along with OJ and Clover. Thanks for joining us, and have a great night in Boston. Time for the post-game show as Me Phone stands by. Adios, everyone. All right, Me Son of Beast, thank you so much. It has been a pleasure. What a win for the start of the Boston Celtics. They showing up like a dick. I never saw how that buzz beater made here for Jason Tatum. He is very that popular. And here's how they did with a field goal percentage. 45 percentage for Boston. 31 free pointers for Cavaliers. 58 for Boston Celtics. 8 fast break points for Cavaliers. 28 paints and even. 13 for Cavs. Bench points for 15 for Boston. 14 assists for Boston. Then it's 15 offensive rebounds for Cleveland. 19 defensive rebounds putting up a line. For the Cavaliers, five steals, four blocks, seven turnovers, and eight points off. That's for Boston. And five team fouls for Boston. And five stunks for Cleveland. The biggest lead was 17, and time possession was 12.50. Well, that's a great start here for the Boston Celtics to win the series, to win the series, as they still got a lot of, lot of um, plays to go. They lead it one nothing in the series in the conference finals. Here's how they did with the three star players of the game. First up, we got to give that one a start. A major credit run to Jalen Brown. He made that one a new balance player of the game. But Evan Mobley, two blocks, 17 rebounds, 9 points, 2 dunks, 9 performance. Only made that one a 4 out of 8 field goals in percentage range. Did that one again. It's mostly to make the encouragement. 
On now to number two. We all say that this wasn't the happening, but if you get that one call, you've got to give credit out to a veteran from University of Duke, Jason Tatum. It's 12 points, three rebounds, one assist, a steal, and block. And made the bonus beater. What a celebration to make a first win in game one. One dunk, 14 performance run, 5 out of 12 field goals, and only had that one a great setup. And for your number one star, I gotta give that one a major credit to J Donovan Mitchell with 16 points, one rebound, two assists, and one dunk. Six out of 14 field goals made two free pointers, and 21 performance run was his total of game one statistic. So that's it right now. And I hope everybody's enjoying your day. Stay tuned for tomorrow game. As right now on Friday matchup, we have is the Nuggets and the Lakers happening back here at Mile High. That will be the first game happening here. And then the Avalanche and the Kraken on Sunday. That will be the next one to be coming in towards it from the right of the angle. But it's not going to be a double header to make that one a call. But that is all what we change for. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NBA Eastern Conference Finals of the 2K23 Dial. This is me, Phone. Thank you for joining with us. I'll see you all tomorrow for the Nuggets and Lakers. See you, folks, next time. Bye-bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.